So they are saying that they dropped a camera deep down in Mel's hole. What was captured next shocked the entire world. And this is a mighty big hole, guys. Uh, like the video if you love big holes. Subscribe if you're brand new. Uh, I know that sounded kind of bad, but, uh, you know, Mel's hole is located Another here. mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing. A bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. Como Forest Denise Whitaker heads east in search of the hole. They dropped a camera in Mel's hole, and what they captured shocked the whole world. Okay. On Mel Waters' property in the Manistash Ridge west of Ellensburg, Washington, there's a peculiar hole in the ground that resembles a well, but it is not a well. Mm. It served as a trash dump for Mel and previous property owners, where everything from garbage to broken appliances and old tires found its way into the depths. Damn. Strangely, the whole you imagine, right? Like you're a demon just sitting down there minding your own business deep down in the hole and somebody just throws like like a like a stove down there, maybe a fridge or a tire like he was saying. Obviously, the demon is going to be then mad. Never like, seemed to fill up, leading Mel to question its mysteries. Oddities starting to emerge. His dogs avoided it, his radio picked up bizarre signals, and there Hide was no chihuahuas. apparent bottom. Hide your chihuahuas, you may guys. have come across numerous stories and theories circulated about Mel's hole. In 2017, a team of researchers finally located the infamous hole. Yet, when they lowered a camera down, what they discovered caught them completely off guard. Ow. Their only option was to flee, realizing that their lives were at stake. Of course. Join us as we uncover the mystery of Mel's hole of course. and share the story of curious researchers who dared to find it by the way, how many of you guys actually heard about the smells hole? If you have uh, one in the comments, if you have not, two in the comments, and we're about to learn this uh, together, An I attempt guess. to document the secrets hidden in its mysterious depths. That's Mel's hole, hole is a circular pit measuring 9 feet 9 inches in diameter. It is surrounded by a stone retaining wall that descends about 15 feet before plunging into darkness. Holy crap. What's intriguing is that not only did Mel Waters and his wife deposit items into this mysterious void, but his neighbors also joined in and contributed to this per- Man, the guy just casually drops a rock. Imagine you're a demon down there and you get hit with a rock. Of course the demon is, is gonna be mad. And what is this obsession with everybody like, uh, you know, planting stuff, uh, uh, going deep down in the holes like that? Come on, yeah. guys, like, don't plant stuff deep down in dark holes, bro. Like, what's the obsession? your pit for years before Mel arrived. In fact, Mel's neighbors claim they couldn't recall a time when the hole didn't exist. Now, what baffles everyone is the absence <laughs> of sound when objects oh are dropped God, into the hole. No baffled. echoes, no indication of a bottom. Mel Waters oh, became is. curious and determined. He set out to uncover the mystery to determine the true depth of this mysterious pit. He was an enthusiastic fisherman who had numerous spools of fishing line. Attaching a one pound weight to the line, he lowered it down a hole. To okay. his surprise, it descended 4,500 feet the full Ooh. length of the reel without hitting the bottom. Undeterred, Mel reeled it up, replacing the weight with a roll of lifesavers and Do we actually know the size of how deep it is? Because uh, I believe the deepest uh, hole ever dug was like around 12,000 some meters, which is approximately 40,000 feet. I believe in Russia, 1989 if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. And does anybody know the true depth of this one? Sent it down again, hoping to discover water at the depths. However, the lifesavers were surfaced dry. Unyielding, Mel continued his quest, connecting spool after spool of fishing line, reaching depths of almost 10,000 feet with no sign of a bottom. Holy crap! Despite deploying lines totaling 80,000 feet, equivalent to over 15 miles, no Mel's way. pursuit proved fruitless. 880,000 feet? No, Brad, there's no way. Because, uh, uh, 40, okay, let me Google that real quick. The mysterious hole withheld its secrets. During his experiments, Mel observed a peculiar phenomenon. His dog steadfastly avoided the mysterious hole. Yeah, I think he did make a mistake, right? Like, uh, 880k feet, that's like, holy crap, what are we talking about here, bro? That's like 166 miles. And he said somewhere around 15 miles. I believe he meant like 80,000. Let's see. Yeah, I think he meant 80,000. 80, or maybe the captions got it wrong. Even when forced, the dogs resisted, digging in their feet as if sensing an unsettling force. Strikingly, 
The area surrounding the hole lacked any sign of wildlife or insects, despite birds casually flying around it. Oh, man. Intrigued by this, Mel inquired with neighbors about their dog's behavior near the hole, and they all shared the same behavior. As discussions unfolded, one neighbor shared a chilling story. He revealed like that, not long ago, his dog had passed away. In an attempt to bid farewell, he disposed of the canine's body down the mysterious hole. To his oh, astonishment, man. a few days later, he spotted the same dog running through a wooded area near the property. Identifying it by the familiar collar, he called out, but the dog inexplicably refused to respond. The what? dog acted as if he was in the dark about his owner's identity. Could it be a version from another dimension? Yeah. Well, that's a theory. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're always like, yeah, bro, this hole is gonna lead you to another dimension. With bizarre like stories accumulating and the fishing line going deeper, Mel found himself perplexed, way out of his depth. Mel needed assistance to uncover this mystery. In 1997, there was one place to turn to discuss the strange and be taken seriously. Coast to Coast AM with Art Bell. Broadcasting from the high desert of the great American Southwest, Art's show reached hundreds of stations worldwide with 10 million listeners. If anyone oh, could shed big. light that's on Mel's big. situation, it was Art Bell and his audience. On February 21st, 1997, Mel sent a message to Art. A call followed and Mel's hole became a worldwide sensation. Throughout several shows, Mel Waters gradually unveiled more details about the mysterious hole. The positive aspect was that Mel received valuable advice from folks worldwide, okay. suggesting the use of a laser for measurement or radar to assess the distance. The downside? Now millions were in the know about this hole thanks to Mel's radio revelations. Clues dropped by Mel hinted at its location. The day after the initial broadcast, I mean, like, at this point, I'm, I'm sure, like, billions know about the hole, bro. <laughs> nah, it's not just millions, bro. But, but truly, though, right? Like, uh, how? Uh, how did that... Because it feels like that the hole was uh, not, not natural, but, like, made, you know? Like, as though somebody made that hole uh, the, way, the way it's looking like. Now, surely, it could have been that, uh, like, an asteroid hit, the, hit it. And it went that deep. Could have been that, but it just feels kind of perfect. If, it, yeah, right. Like it feels like that somebody like made it, made it. As Mel Doesn't returned to his property, he found the entrance blocked. The U.S. military, yes, the government, had caught wind of oh, the shit. hole, oh, and they wanted exclusive access. Oh, that's bad, bro. That's After bad. the Friday night show, Mel noticed some helicopter activity around the property, and oh, it continued bad. the next that's day. Bad. Mel mentioned that the hole might affect the environment around it. Animals avoided it, but plants thrived. Radios acted strangely. Bring one near the hole and the signal went staticky. Picking uh, okay, how deep we're talking? Because of course, like if you go super deep in it, then I, I suppose that the signals won't work. I mean, I go take the metro and suckers are always like, yo, my phone ain't working, my phone ain't working, lost connection, lost connection. You know, suckers are always saying that. Understandably, and maybe the pets are just, uh, you know, they don't want to be around because they might be afraid that they're going to fall inside. Like bring a chihuahua there. Chihuahua is going to be like, hey man, I'm not the chihuahua. You are the chihuahua uh, to bring me. Like, hey, I'm the dog. Why are you acting like a dog? You know, that's low IQ business. Uh, that's low IQ business right there. You know what I'm saying? So, picking up broadcast from elsewhere. Don't bring me there. One day, Mel's radio started playing what he described as old time music. Trying to change the channel, he ends up tuning into a baseball game. First baseman, he thinks, until he realizes the game was played in 1967, 30 years ago. What? In Art's initial conversation with Mel, the call stretches for about an hour before wrapping up. Mel was staying in Ellensburg and he made the call from there. However, upon Mel's return to his property, he encounters a roadblock manned by armed military personnel and That's signs of heavy machinery being brought in. The reason given is a plane crash on the property, yet there's no report. That's no bull crap. That is bull crap. That's bullshit, okay? My bullshit meters. These are my bullshit meters, okay? And I see bull squash here. No fire, no, no smoke. No fire, no smoke. Despite this, no Mel reports. is denied access until a complete investigation of the supposed crash is conducted. When he requests to speak with the person in charge, 
a civilian clad man informs him that the land might not be his anymore. <laughs> Implicit threats of discovering a drug hell? lab on the property if he doesn't comply. What the hell? It's like it was his land, I guess, I suppose, right? For the longest amount of time. And they turn up and they're like, it's not your land anymore. It's ours. You know, national security, national matter, you know, national security. We are getting, our lives are threatened. We need to investigate. It's the aliens coming out, but we're not going to tell you that. It's a paranormal. We investigating, we researching. It's for research purposes. Uh, yo, where is Alex? Uh, Alex J. I cannot say his uh, full full name. He's probably going to be like, this is where the water is uh, turning the frogs. Yeah, you know what I'm uh, Cannot say it coherently because, you know, we are on YouTube, guys. Sorry about that, but. In defiance, Mel talks about going to the press. The man in charge dismisses his threats, saying, go ahead and talk. No one would believe it. However, mm. Art Bell and his audience would indeed believe it. A few days later, Art calls Mel for an update. Mel reports that a neighbor witnessed a dark beam emerging from the hole, piercing through the clouds, a darkness unlike anything seen before. Now I must say, Mel didn't witness this himself, but according to Art Bell and a bunch of callers, this part of Washington is a hot spot for UFO sightings, disappearances, and other paranormal happenings. The callers, they had their own takes on it. Some speculated the hole might be on the ley line, creating a portal to another dimension or- Okay, do, okay, do we actually know the entire hole situation? Bruh. Because I feel like that we don't know the whole situation. We know a little bit about it, but not the whole situation. We need to know the whole situation, no pun intended, but... But, but what if, like, the, 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 the UFOs come out of there uh, as well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe it's just the UFOs, maybe uh, Joe Rogan is down there doing the DMTs as well. Or maybe even through time. They believed anything tossed in there just vanished. Possibly accumulating in a mysterious pile in an alternate reality. You know. A heap of garbage, old appliances, and, uh, unfortunate animals. And nah, there was this bro. one caller who floated the- Bro, why would you throw your animals down there, man? That's- that's genuinely sad, bro. Like, what the hell? Okay, if you wanna throw, like, your tires, your appliances, maybe your stove, maybe your fridge, um, yeah, I mean, listen, if you're a- like I was saying, if you're a demon down there chilling, going about your business, and some- and you get hit by a fridge because some dumbass threw- you would be mad, I get that, but like, come on, man, don't sacrifice your animals, bro, like... The idea that it might be a tunnel to the hollow earth. Yep. Like, look like look at this dumbass throwing that rock down there, bro, hitting a demon, and that demon... I understand, like, that demon would be mad oh boy. as hell. The theories kept pouring in. Art Bell, unable to access his property anymore, reached out to locals for more intel. An elderly neighbor spilled the beans, mentioning that years ago, there used to be stone columns around the hole. The audience was quick to remind Mel that calling into the show might be a mistake, as you yeah. know the government could be listening. The show concludes and Mel promises to return with an update. But on the day Mel was supposed to show up again, he's a no-show and doesn't pick up the phone. Of course. Now, they the got television him. crew went up to Ellensburg to dig into this. They got him. Guess they what? Got him. No hole found. However, oh, in the area they discovered loads of military blueprints and intel that strongly hinted the military had been or still was in the vicinity. Now would be three years- Okay, so I'm kind of confused, right? Because in the very beginning, based on the images that we're looking at, in the beginning, that hole was massive. Like, that hole looked like that it was ran through. Bruh. No pun intended. Uh, <laughs> I don't- <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, that hole was big. Look at that picture, right? I'm not even sure if the hole looks this big or not. It felt like that it ran through, but then it like it, it became tight. Right now it's tight, right? It's like it's it's small. And the guy is saying that the hole did not exist. So where did the hole go? Before Mel claims he was offered a cool three million dollars. Now would be three years before Mel claims he was offered a cool three million dollars annually to lease his property, but with a catch. Sign a non-disclosure agreement, pack up, leave the country immediately, and never return. Mm. Mel takes the offer and sets up shop in Australia for two years. But okay. you know, the heart wants what it wants, and yeah. Mel starts missing his family. So he decides yeah. to sneak back into the States for a visit. 
Oh now. man, so he goes back for the 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 family. Oh man, can you blame him though? Though you know, and, and like that three million dollar offer was quite, I mean, steep. I, I, I understandably, if you were offered that, would you take it though? Knowing that you only live once, though, right? Like you only live once, and that money, life changing money. Let's be real. If you know a little bit about of investing, uh, you you have the knowledge. You invest that money, and I mean, you can live off of that kind of good, like decent. I wouldn't say you would be like crazy rich if you invest all that three million dollar and you live off of the the, the money that that mo that three million is gonna generate you're not gonna be living a very lavish style but if you're very like frugal frugal is that the word uh, if you're very like minimalistic and you're very uh, fair with your living conditions I, I guess you can get by very very easily right? now he was warned against this but mel does it anyway yeah we during love that. this visit love that. mel reaches out to art bell and agrees to spill the beans on the radio but surprisingly, he never shows up. Dang it, Mel explains that on the day he was supposed to be on air, he was on a bus heading to visit his nephew. But some kind of altercation breaks out, police are called, everyone gets questioned, and they shuffle onto a different bus. Then, as if life needed another curveball, Mel blacks out. The next memory Mel has is waking up in San Francisco, realizing a whopping 12 days have vanished. Holy Here's crap. where it gets eerie. He's in an alley, wallet and keys gone. His arm is throbbing, and upon inspection, he discovers needle holes and tape marks from an IV. Oh, they got him. They got him. They got him. Okay, I, I was not aware of this much about this hole. This hole is getting very, very deep. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, and uh, it's getting good right now. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. You guys hooked? As he regains consciousness, he tastes blood in his mouth and finds his back teeth missing. Now brace yourself, Mel never makes it back to the property. Legal troubles swoop in as he faces action for illegal construction, power lines, septic tanks, and paved roads. Oh, man. Mind you. Okay, I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm just shocked by the fact that they didn't probe his ass after all that. He didn't put those there. The government occupied his property for two years. Despite that, Mel loses everything. Adding salt to the wound, a day or two after reaching out to Art's show, his bank account is empty. Man! Now plenty of folks call in, claiming it's all a hoax. But Art Bell, the master of tales, decides to let Mel spin his yarn. He does drop a nugget that a TV crew explored the area in search of the elusive hole. No luck on finding it, but they stumble upon signs of significant military activity. Can, can a brother get some nuggets? Uh, ch we talking chicken nuggets or beef nuggets though? I love chicken nuggets though. I love me, I love me some chicken nuggets, man. No offense to all the, the vegans watching. Um. In a dash of intrigue, the no-fly zone inexplicably expands to cover the same territory. TerraServer, the pre-Google Earth mapping site, shows the whole area blacked out, a detail that checks out. Now, some callers suggest Mel might have found the blacked out map area and pretended it was his property. But Terra server launched six months after Mel's first call, so he couldn't have known. Yeah. Now here's a twist. A Native oh. American tribe contacts Mel, inviting him to Nevada to insist in their research on another bottomless hole. They guide him there, and despite not going all the way up, there are discussions involving Native Americans, the Basque, and the Pit. The consensus is that everything is as it should be with assurances that Mel isn't from CNN, FBI, or CIA. You know, the usual suspects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. off Mel goes, and he gets a first-hand look at the hole. Now, the burning question, what on earth is down there? Yeah. The second hole- I, I mean like, second one as well? Oh shit! No, nah, you swear, say you swear to God, bro. I mean, I, I was gonna say like, yeah, everybody loves first-hand, uh, Everybody want to be a first-hand witness of a hole. I get that, but like, there's a second one too. Well, isn't on the Indian reservation. Second one it's is on, on public Indian? land used by the Basques, an ethnic group hailing from the region between France and Spain. The Basque, settling in the U.S., particularly Nevada, since the mid 1800s, used this land for sheep herding. According to them, the hole has been there for at least 200 years, considered sacred. Measuring just over nine feet wide, like Mel's. This hole takes a different aesthetic approach. While Mel's hole had a stone retaining wall, the second hole boasts a metal collar and lining that stretches as far as the eye can see. 200 Here's years. where it gets peculiar. 
This oh, hole radiates warmth with heat palpable all around it. The metal collar is not your average metal. It's special. When Mel <laughs> accidentally drops a tool on it, the in The man just like casually drops that, bro. This casually. Impact is eerily silent. No sound, no vibrations, just a baffling absence of the expected. Hashtag so baffled. Mel and the Bosque begin their experiments. Their Be first baffled. test involved lowering a bucket of ice down the hole about a thousand feet deep while keeping some ice at the surface as a control. When the surface ice melted, they retrieved the bucket. To their amazement, the ice in the bucket didn't melt at all. Even more perplexing, it was no longer cold to the touch and it remained dry. The texture resembled large pieces of salt. Intrigued, they attempted to melt it over an open flame, but instead no. of melting, it caught fire and not Holy just a fleeting crap. flame. This ice continued to burn for months. Subsequent experiments involved sending different amounts of ice down the hole. Interestingly, oh. about two thirds of the time, it melted normally, but one third of the time, it underwent a mysterious transformation. At this point, one courageous Bosque volunteered to descend into the hole, a oh, notion man. met with unanimous agreement that it wasn't a good idea. Yeah. Opting for an alternative, they decided to send a sheep down. Oh yes. my god, bro. Yeah. Like, I was gonna say hero, but <laughs> he backed out last minute. I mean, yeah, good decision, but it's like, bro, like, you don't throw a sheep instead, bro. Like, damn, homeboy, homie. Maybe throw a, nah, okay, that's a channel meme, but nah, don't throw a chihuahua down there either. Like, don't throw anything, bro. Just don't. What is this obsession with, you know, can a brother perhaps drop this in the hole? Can a brother, can a brother do this? Can a brother do that? Nah, motherfucker. You don't do anything like that, bro. What is this obsession with deep holes, man? Sick as love, deep holes. Sick as gonna be sick as, man. A sheep. The outcome? Brace yourself. The sheep, seemingly aware of impending strangeness, resisted vehemently. As the crate containing the sheep was lowered to a depth of 1,000 feet, it abruptly stopped moving. The peculiar humming sensation enveloped the surroundings. He, he must have had a heart attack, bro. Like, I, I, I mean, I, I don't blame the homie, bro. They left the sheep down there for 30 minutes and then hoisted it back up. To their surprise, the crate and sheep appeared unchanged, yet upon closer inspection, the sheep was lifeless. Holy crap. The experience left them in awe, evoking a sense of the extraordinary, even bordering on the religious. Uh, okay, so my question is that, uh, did somebody went down a thousand feet like an actual human? Because they were saying like a thousand feet, uh, they, they drop the sheep, thousand feet comes out and it's like, you know, lifeless. Still alive, but lifeless. Probably that sheep is paranoid, I'm assuming, or yeah, some paranormal went down, but, but like, did an actual human go down that much? The Bosque, skilled in the art of butchering sheep, wasted no time conducting a swift autopsy on the enigmatic sheep brought to the table. Brace yourself for what unfolds. Okay, brace As they brace examined him. the sheep, an unnerving revelation surfaced. It appeared as though the sheep had been cooked from the inside out. No. The most striking observation was a colossal tumor dominating the sheep's body cavity. No. But here's where it takes a surreal turn. The tumor exhibited signs of life and began to move. Yes, you heard that right. To unravel the mystery, they decided to cut open the tumor. What they discovered inside left them utterly flabbergasted. Inside the tumor resided what Mel described as a fetal seal. What? Picture this, a creature reminiscent of a baby seal, tethered to the tumor by an umbilical cord, yet with eyes that resemble those of a human. They observed this seal-like creature crawl to the end of the table, and Mel Okay, I don't like holes, guys. Uh, Bruh. No more holes after this one, bro. Like, what the hell? So, they descend a sheep down there, thousand feet, comes out lifeless, do an autopsy. Uh, there's a tumor, cut open the tumor, uh, and, and they have a seal. Uh, what? Sensed a yearning for the hole. Acting on intuition, he gently placed the creature near the edge. The creature slimy to the touch, emitted a distinct smell of ozone. The men and the creature engaged in an unusual mutual observation for about two hours. Man. Then, in a moment of finality, the seal creature cast a parting glance at the men and leaped into the mysterious hole. Now prior to Mel's journey to Nevada, he faced a grim prognosis, advanced esophageal cancer. 
leaving him with a mere six months to live. Yet, post this otherworldly encounter, Mel found himself miraculously cancer-free. His conviction? The magical seal held the key to his inexplicable recovery. Mel underwent a transformative exp So this is, okay, if this is true, right? Obviously we're just, um, we're gonna exaggerate this here right now, but like, let's just be, let's just be optimistic here. Let's just agree to disagree, right? If this is really true, that they found a cure to, cannot say that word on YouTube, but you know, if they found a cure to that, Man, that kind of explains why the, the, the entire military were down there. Obviously, they do not want the cure of that, right? Because if they find a cure of that uh, and they let it out, then uh, they're, 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 they're going to they're, they're gonna literally say no to millions and millions, if not trillions. Yeah, trillions, that's the word. Trillions of dollars because they never want to give you the cure. They want to give you treatments. They want to provide you with treatments. They never want to, because the money is always in sick people. It's not in the young. It's not in the dead. It's always in sick and old, right? And uh, they don't want to give you cures, bro. They, 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 there's just too much money involved, you know? Experience that altered the very fabric of his being. As the yeah. radio show neared its end, a stern warning echoed across the airwaves. The actual roadway into Mel's hole was ominously present, but listeners were urged to steer clear as venturing beyond that point might lead to ominous consequences, a potential disappearance into the unknown. Damn. Several months later, Mel returned to coast to coast, bringing with him the aftermath of the peculiar ice experiments. One of the Bosque individuals took the burning ice to his cabin for warmth. Little did he anticipate the bizarre consequences that awaited. The burning ice, continuously ablaze for months, leached moisture from the air, leaving the cabin in a perpetual state of dryness. The inhabitant experienced persistently parched skin and an unquenchable thirst. Even boiling water turned peculiar, as the steam was inexplicably drawn into the stove. Then, the unforeseen occurred. The stove crashed through the cabin floor, descending into the ground beneath, all while remaining warm. The pragmatic response? Patch up the floor and utilize the peculiar hole for warmth. Okay. However, this makeshift solution took a surreal turn weeks later when the entire cabin collapsed into dust. In the aftermath, the bewildered owner sought refuge with his brother. Returning to the cabin a month later, the perplexed cabin owner encountered a peculiar sight. The stove, once at the surface, now rested five feet underground. Yeah, we're like, all we're, yeah, with that is impossible channel, we're always baffled. With this one is peculiar. Yeah, it's very peculiar and we're baffled, hashtag baffled. Astonishingly, the stove had unwittingly birthed a new baby bottomless hole, its creation marked by a flawlessly smooth surface. Attempts to retrieve the stove proved futile until the intervention of a massive crane, which successfully extricated the perplexing appliance from the depths below. Adding another layer to the enigma, the Bosque individuals revealed encounters with the entity, the magic seal discovered in the hole. Viewed as a benevolent presence, the magic seal assumed a spiritual significance for the Bosque, fostering a profound connection with the inexplicable forces at play. Strikingly colored birds, seemingly impervious to bullets, now circled the hole, a peculiar response to what only could be described as a spiritual experience. The Bosque, in their unique way, perceive the avian presence as a response to their encounter. I'm a little bit confused by the story, so does the, the hole still exist? <laughs> or, or it doesn't exist, because uh, we, we were hearing about the second hole, this big hole, in some pictures look massive, like it's ran through, uh, and in other, hole, in, other, in other pictures it looks like that, it's still a version. I don't know what's going on, bro. I really don't know what's going on. In an astonishing revelation, the boss claimed that the magic seal communicated with them through a system of beeps and clicks over the radio, a language they purportedly understood. According to their belief, the creature conveyed warnings about the perilous nature of the ice, emphasizing its potential for catastrophic consequences if it fell into the wrong hands. Yeah. Art, ever the Inquisitor, sought evidence of this communication and the Bosque did not disappoint. They had okay. recorded everything. 
Damn. For the next few hours, a few more- Oh, please tell me UFOs were coming out of that hole, bro. Like, now you got, like, videos in the background, got me intrigued, got me all riled up, no shit. Nah, don't tell me. I mean, tell me that actual green men were coming out of the hole, the UFOs were coming out of the hole. I wanna know about the drone. I wanna know about the yeah. Theories are considered. Art manages to convince Mel to return to the show, promising to bring recordings, photos, videos, and every piece of evidence he can gather. Mel agrees to head back to Nevada for this mission. Holy. The call concludes and the show wraps up. Sh I think he's just hyping it up, uh, hyping us all up with the, the, the videos on the background right now. This is such a cock tease, bro. Like, he's just hyping it all up. This He bought a catfish us. Yeah, absolutely. With the UFO pictures on the background. And he's not even talking about that. He's just making us believe that, yeah, the, the little green men were coming out of it. Nah, bro, come on, man. You don't cock tease us like that. My guy about to cock block us as well at the same time. Strangely, Mel goes silent. He doesn't answer Art's calls, and eventually the line is cut. Five years pass, marking the conclusion of the Mel's whole story, leaving behind a plethora of unanswered questions. Among Art Bell's memorable moments, Mel's hole stands near the top. So how much of the tale can we confirm? Let's start with the hole's location. While Terra's server blacked out that- I appreciate that! I appreciate- What? Oh god! You should have told of us the location- <laughs> Location in the beginning, bro! You know what I'm saying? With the TikTok attention span that's going around nowadays. Man, like, brother! Where were you in the beginning? We needed the location of the hole, like, right in the beginning. Now you getting to the location? Come on, bro. Like, come on. What the hell is, am I watching, bruh? That part of Washington, Google Earth revealed it again. However, if the military truly took over the property, they would have likely concealed the hole. Despite years of searching, many locations emerged, but one on Google Maps stood out. Someone took the initiative to visit the- Okay, if I'm not mistaken, it's like these holes are popping up in different areas. Is that what you're saying? The location and document what was there. Now, during one of Mel's phone calls, he mentioned two old buildings on the property, and one eventually collapsed under snow. This lines up with the description pretty neatly. On the property, there's also something intriguing. A hole about nine feet wide with a stone retaining wall, just as Mel described. This discovery stirred up quite the buzz online. However, the excitement faded as the hole turned out to be an old well with a definitive bottom. Many on the internet claim to have found Mel's hole, but the truth is it remains elusive, at least for now. Okay. Now let's talk about Mel. A character as complex as the mystery how are you gonna have that hollow earth picture in the background and not talk about hollow earth? Yeah, this video is like such cock tease, bro. Like, um, I swear to God, bro. Like, I've never seen uh, uh, any video that that would cock tease this much. This guy's showing UFO videos, showing uh, hollow earth in the background and not even talking about it. What the hell is going on? I mean, I'm intrigued, don't get me wrong. Like, it's a very good video, don't get me wrong. But still though, like, it, it's, it's, it's getting to the point where it's good it's so good, but it's still not talking though. It's like having us on the edge right now. Itself. Records don't show a male or Melvin Waters living in the area. Still, some speculate he used a pseudonym to safeguard his identity. Okay. Now here's a real blow to the story's credibility. The lack of pictures. Yeah. In every call, Art presses Mel for photographs, but sometimes Mel claims he forgets to take them, which seems absurd. Another time, he argues that cameras don't function near the hole due to interference, or Bruh. he does have pictures and recordings, but they're not readily available. He promises to send them when he can. In Mel's defense, he never monetizes anything. Even if this were a hoax, he could have made a fortune selling t-shirts, books, fake photographs, anything. People would have bought it just for the cool factor. Now, a common argument is that Mel's story became increasingly bizarre and eventually he couldn't keep up with it, leading him to abandon the hoax. However, he remained consistent with the facts over five years, and Art Bell, attempting numerous times to trip him up, couldn't succeed. Yet the hole itself poses a geological <laughs> improbability. Oh no. A hole many miles deep would be un- Okay bro, like, this video is like- <laughs> <laughs> it's leading me to ask more questions that it's not even solving any answers like it's it's more of co about questions than answers we need answers now i get it like if we don't have answers then 
you don't create like magic answers uh, I, I understand that but but still like holy crap the mystery surrounding this a whole is shit. unstable collapsing unless it's a bottomless gateway to another dimension right right unless it's that but the truth remains elusive and whether mel's hole has believers art bell might not have been one of them mm. still art being an entertainer knew this was the kind of story his listeners loved a legend that people still discuss 30 years later. I think what truly has me confused is all the pictures that he got in the background. Because right now, as I'm hearing the story, I'm imagining like if it's that big, that small, this and that, ex like different, it's like popping up in different locations. I believe it's, there's just like one or two maybe uh, actual Mel's hole. And the, the pictures are just throwing off. If you're somebody that never heard of it, because I heard of it, but I wasn't this deep, no pun intended. Bruh. Right now, I'm like very, very deep into this hole. And uh, but, but still, even I'm confused right now, right? It's a good video, don't get me wrong. But like all the pictures in the background, I feel like that obviously these are AI generated. A lot of them are AI generated. Some of them are probably true, but we do not know which one are real, which one are is fake. Good story, but like, you, you know what in I'm saying? In 2017, enthusiasts of the paranormal and those captivated by the legendary story of Mel's Hole joined forces, armed with technologies like Go. Now this looks real. Uh, I, okay, they. Okay, now I think we're getting down to the climax. Pro cameras, lights, and strings, eager to catch a glimpse into this mythical abyss. An unexpected turn led them to coordinates found in a Reddit post, guiding them to a random farm potentially linked to Mel's Hole. Arriving at the site, they confronted the profound depth of the chasm, defying easy comprehension. Unable to fathom the bottom, they resorted to throwing rocks, adding an element of uncertainty to the mystique of this legendary hole. With yeah. binoculars, <laughs> the team spotted a mystique. Man, nah, bro, okay, that, that kind of freaked me out there. I was gonna say, yeah, bro, like, I... No disrespect, though, like, I, I understand where that demon was coming from. Like, y'all sick as we throwing rocks on that demon that's, like, mining his own business. And, uh, yeah, bro, like, Serious figure observing them from a distance. Yet, before a thorough review of their camera footage, an urgent sense pushed them to leave hastily. Yeah. The discovery of a beetle down the vast hole marked a symbolic moment, yeah. emphasizing the profound depth of the unknown that endlessly captivates the human spirit. Mm -hmm. Beyond unraveling Mel's Hole's mystery, the expedition delved into metaphorical layers. Refle Guys, click on this video on the screen. This is the last conspiracy that we've done, and it's coming from a guy that claims that he was abducted by the gr little green men. Oh, shit. Oh, click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there.